Uh, for those who don't know, my name is uh, Detective Inspector Bob Hitch. I'm a Detective Inspector, Brisbane West uh, Police District. Uh, I'm here today, if we're right to go. You're right. The Metropo Metropolitan North Police are making an appeal for information to assist uh, with a number of um, assaults that have occurred in the Metro North area. We're investigating three complaints of a sexual nature. Of particular interest, we're interested in anyone out there who may be the victim of a similar type of assault or has information that may be able to assist us with our investigations. The assaults have taken place in relation to a, uh, an ad has been placed on a social website. Uh, a number of female students have answered the ad on the website Following the ad being placed, contact has been made with um, the female students. Uh, from that uh, contact, there has been a meeting. That meeting's taken place uh, in a street within the, the Brisbane city area. From there, the victims, uh, it will be alleged, uh, transported up to Mount Kufa. And uh, it is whilst at Mount Kufa, we, we are alleging that uh, they have been supplied with some stupefying drugs uh, with the intention of um, uh, a sexual assault. Now we're interested if there are any other students out there who, uh, who know of um, uh, victims or the victims themselves that uh, are able to come forward and contact us. Uh, we ask that they either contact Police Link or they contact Crime Stoppers uh, so that they can assist us with our inquiries. Primarily they are predominantly students, so they're, they're young females um, who uh, are visiting Australia. Does that happen? Uh, they're students. Are they university students? They're, they're, I, I won't go into, they're students uh, predominantly here to study English. What was the ad about? Uh, the ad is just a social networking ad um, to make contact and uh, to uh, talk about exchanging um, language skills. We believe from the, the nature of our inquiries to date that there is most likely uh, other people out there that may have not come forward um, and we ask that they do come forward because we greatly need their assistance in relation to our investigations. Can you tell us what the website was and how it was placed I, I won't make comment on the website at this stage. Uh, it's just a, a, a general social networking website in the Brisbane metropolitan area. So it's not like a dating website or anything like that? No. What's happened is uh, we've had three separate complainants come forward over the, the last week independently uh, and they have made um, uh, complaints of a similar nature and it is from there that we've identified that there is a bit of a trend. How old are these girls? They're young girls. They're, um, they're, uh, they're not juveniles but they're, they're um, young adults. Teens? It's summer teens, yes. At this stage, uh, there is a gentleman who is assisting police with our inquiries. So I don't intend to make any more comments in relation to, to that. Were those women left in Mount Kufa or did they come back and give us all of them? Or? I won't go into too many details in relation to the offences except to appeal to the public. Um, there, there's a, a certain method of operation and that being, as I've outlined, the, uh, the introduction using the web page, uh, the meeting in the city and the, the drive up to Mount Kufa and the application of what we believe to be a stupefying uh, drug. Can you tell us what time it was? At this stage, uh, those investigations are, are still ongoing. So, um, are they administered to them? Is it offering a drink? Or? We believe at this stage it will be alleged that um, the, the drug has been administered by a drink, yes. And in the city or on Mount Cooper? On Mount Cooper. Without them knowing it was a Mount? That's what we will be alleging, yes. Oh, I won't go into details. It's um, they've driven up to Mount Cooper and they've uh, parked uh, in the areas that are available up at the top and around the summit, that sort of area. Why haven't you charged uh, We're still conducting our inquiries. Um, there's a gentleman, as I've in indicated in the release, which uh, who's currently assisting with our inquiries. Um, but we're appealing that we believe that there are uh, further victims out there that, uh, for some reason. Um, have felt uncomfortable and haven't come forward uh, and we're asking them to come forward and assist us. Do you get that feeling from um, the evidence you're getting from the person you're speaking to at the moment? 
Our inquiries to date strongly suggest that there are other people out there, or it's most likely there are other people out there. Yeah, and, and I don't intend to elaborate any further in relation to um, the website as a, uh, more than that. Uh, we believe that sort of information uh, should be able to um, assist us with identifying other um, victims or complainants out there within the community. Is there any way of their memories um, being blurred? Look, I, I can't make... The, we're alleging that a stupefying drug has been used. Um, you can make your own conclusions from there. Yeah, the victims at this stage are, um, are in good spirits and they have been assisting us greatly with our inquiries. Has there been any issues with uh, language skills for the uh, victims and um, and, and There has been no difficulties. Um, they are foreign students, so there are some language issues, but we've had no difficulties in our communication with them. What um, At this stage, all I'm prepared to say that because I don't want to narrow down um, the investigation search, but... Um, at this stage, they are young Asian girls. Just with the locations, though, they're all around the summer sort of area. Would they be the exact location? They've been in a... There are striking similarities at this stage in relation to um, the three offences that we are investigating, and we will be alleging that the meeting's taken place, they've met in the city, they've then driven from the city up by motor vehicle up to Mount Cooper, and it's up at Mount Cooper that there's been further conversations, and uh, that's where we believe the... On each of the occasions, uh, there's been an attempt or, or there has been the application of a stupefying drug. And they've also produced the same area in the city? Yes. Where was that? Uh, I won't go into the exact details, but it's, uh, the, the, our inquiries indicate that it is in the same location. It's on the street within the city. Yeah. Wait, at the cafe or just on the, on the... On the street itself. On the street itself. Yes. When you say you believe there may be further victims out there, you're talking one, two, then you get maybe half a dozen or...? We don't know how many there will be out there. We don't know at this stage how long um, this may have been going on uh, for, but we're, um, we're confident that there will be others out there and uh, we're appealing for them to come forward. And the uh, alleged assault, did that happen inside a vehicle or did they, were they en route from a car? I don't intend to go into any further details in relation to the alleged assaults except to say that we believe that was the, the purpose for the alleged uh, administration of the, uh, the drug. Uh, well, it, it naturally is if they've been administered the drug. It's, there's been um, uh, a bit of a delay in the reporting of the incidents to us. But none of them reported or in the reporting box has got a case of that coming up? Not at this stage. They're, they're, I won't go into the exact details, um, and each of the details for each of the assaults um, differ uh, uh, following the, the, what the basic MO that I've already given you. I don't intend to make any comments in relation to anyone who's assisting us with the inquiries at this stage. Would you cooperate in this case? I can't make any comments in relation to that. You're just confirming a couple of those victims were indeed teenagers? They were young, young girls, young, young females, um, but they weren't juvenile. At this stage, um, I won't go into too much detail, but these are three separate girls who, um, who to, my, uh, to our knowledge, don't know each other. And you can't narrow it down to whether it was something like Facebook or something like that. Wouldn't that help um, in the appeal? Um, look, anyone out there who has met someone on a social um, networking page and uh, they've answered an ad and following that ad, they've met in a, in a street in the city and then gone up to Mount Cooper, that in itself is sufficient information to identify... Um, the sort of uh, incident that we're referring to and, and we don't wish to go any further into the details other than that at this stage. Are you aware of whether that ad has been taken down yet? Uh, well, look, we're making inquiries and, and making investigations into that regard. Wait, what did you say? Were they high school students or uni students? They're, they're students who are... They're, they're a mature student. They're not uh, students at um, high school. They're, they're students who are... Um, Look, I won't go into it, but they're, they're, they're a, a mature student should be a sufficient description. You keep saying that he was a teacher or just that he was the helping hand. I, I can't go into any details in relation to the specifics of any conversations or um, particulars of the alleged offences other than what I've given you. Was the, the advertisement specifically targeting um, students? 
I look, it's, it's in relation to language studies and that's how I'll leave it. Around the summit, it, um, they've all travelled up to Mount Coover, um, and that would be a. It's it's not in the the summit car park area, but in the general vicinity. Has this vehicle been found? Uh, look, I won't go into any further details in relation to um, the, the nature of the, where we are up with our inquiries at this stage. You can't say what's on the vehicle. Um, the, the vehicle um, is a a white sedan. It's alleged that they've taken place in the afternoon and into the evening. In the afternoon in daylight? Well, in... Yes. In, late, late in the afternoon, but uh, look, without going into specifics when the sun's risen and set... Well, that's pretty brazen, isn't it? Sort of attacking the girl in the middle of... Well, the, the attacks... The attacks... The, the pick-up has been during that period of time. Um, details in relation to... The actual assaults are, are later in, and I won't go into any further details than, than that. You don't want to put out like an image of the, the vehicle or anything like that. Not at this stage, no. I mean, given the time of day that it occurred, there could well have been robbers, witnesses up there. Would anyone be able to come forward to help you with that? Um, at this stage, we're still canvassing our inquiries in that regard. Um, uh, taking into consideration people up at Mount Kufa may, uh, may have witnessed or um, seen something which they think is suspicious. Um, but certainly uh, within the streets in, in Brisbane that would be highly unlikely because it would have been a very innocuous sort of act um, of a person getting into a motor vehicle. But certainly up at Mount Kufa if anyone has seen anything suspicious or uh, any sort of concerning behaviour uh, involving a male and a female, um, by all means come forward. We'd uh, be interested in obtaining uh, some information. Thank you.